In today's vlog, my friends, I am in the city of Leeds, or should I say, Leeds, 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 to review a Donner Kebab at a place called I Am Donner, a revolution that was started by their founder, Paul, who was trained in Michelin-starred restaurants by some of the UK's best chefs. Now, what Paul wanted is to make the Donner Kebab more than just a guilty pleasure for the intoxicated. They use a total of 120 ingredients across the eight kebabs that they make. They also produce their own homemade bread, their own made sauces, and use the highest quality meats. They also use 100% recyclable or compostable packaging throughout all of their locations. Now, what is interesting is their slogan, not just a dirty donner, because we all associate a donner kebab with being completely steaming at the end of a Friday or Saturday night. However, some of the best donner kebabs that I've had have been dirty donner kebabs at the end of a Friday or Saturday. So this one is gonna be interesting, my friends. We're gonna mark this one out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well. And if you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, so here we are at I Am Donna. I'm at the one in the city centre in Leeds. I also believe there's one in Headingley and Liverpool. I'll stick their uh, website in the description down below. Let's head on in, get this ordered, because I am uh, I'm a little bit peckish, to say the least. Come on, onwards. Right, this makes a difference because uh, I'm actually sat down at a table rather than eating off of a bin. Uh, so, um, right, first things first, um, quite organised in there, very organised, very, very modern, all done on an iPad there, spotted, Apple products that they're using in there. Um, they also do a vegan menu, which is, uh, which is good for vegans, I guess, as well. I get a lot of vegans asking me, do they do vegan? So, yeah, you can have a vegan doner kebab if you want, I guess. Uh, Price-wise, don't think it was too bad actually, but we'll come to that in a minute. I want to see the size of it first and see what it's like. Uh, got fries in there, got a Diet Coke. Uh, before we go any further though, take a closer look, my friends. So first off, I've, um, I've cut it in half, made a bit of a mess of the fork. I've used my 
fork is a knife there and I cut it in half so you can see inside. However, I have actually undone it now uh, so we can see inside. It's all wrapped up as a nice little wrap there so you can eat it all wrapped up or whatever. But I like to open up my Doner kebab, you know, when you're you're at the end of a night on a Friday and you're just eating it out of the box, just shoveling it in. But we're going to go in for this. I, got, I added some halloumi onto this. Um, there we go. Mmm. I've got to say, halloumi is quite nice. Let's go in for some of the meat. There we go. Wow, the meat's actually got a little bit of spice to it. And we're going for the bread, which is made fresh there. And it is fresh, you can tell. Look at that. That's actually really nice. Yeah, light, light and fluffy. Not hard, not stale, you can tell. Very good. We got some cabbage in there, some carrots in there. Fair amount of meat. And I have to say, I had the fries there. These have got like a little chip spice on it. That was a little bit of a kick, but it was a pretty good donut, I've got to say. Very, very nice. A fusion of... A fusion of different flavours and spices. And I'm glad I added the halloumi on there. Very nice. I mean, just have a... I'll open this other side and just take another... A closer look at it. So there you go, so it comes to £12.49, here's a copy of the receipt, that was with the medium chilli sauce uh, and also I got the um, I got the fries in there as well and a Diet Coke, but I have to say, oh, it's pretty tasty and that halloumi, very nice and the bread, yeah, so far I've got to say, so good. Right, I'll eat this, come back to you, we'll round it off. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well. It's going to be a difficult one because I always still see as Donner Kebab as a place that you go to at the end of the night, you know, when I've been in Mansfield or whatever and I've gone down there and I've had a few, you know, had a skinful or whatever and then had a dirty Donner. Whereas this is a bit more of a, a trendy place. They've brought it up market, added the iPads. You can even choose your own music, what's playing in there as well. But saying that, credit where credit's due, it is very nice. Right, this one's an easy one to mark. First off, everything about that was fresh. Uh, the bread was fresh, the veg on there was fresh. I like the onions, they've just got the right amount of raw onions on there, carrots. Uh, the, the meat itself was absolutely spot on. Um, very tasty, just the right amount of spice for me as well. Um, the way it's presented, very nice, very trendy and very, you know, upmarket and bringing it into the 21st century. Um, I would have said, personally, I like it out of the box still, but at the end of the night with a fork, you know, when you're scooping it in, 
um, rather than eating it as like a wrap. Um, I'm not into folding it up and eating it like a wrap. I like it, you know, in a like a bread with a bread in like a butterfly shape in the box and then eating it. You know, you know what I mean when you've had a when you've had a drink. That could get a little bit messy. Um, however, that aside, very nice. I have to say, um, no more dirty donners. Not sure about that. Um, I'd still, you know, prefer I think a, a dirty donner at the end of a night than a, than one of these. However, it's not to take anything away from it because it is very, very nice, um, very tasty, excellent, excellent. Um, I've got to give this a high score. Would I give it a ten? Maybe if I've had a few uh, Jamesons and a few pints. But stone cold sober, excuse me. Sign of good food. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go, oh man, I'm gonna go eight, 8.9. I think that deserves an 8.9. Damn good Donner Kebab. But as I say, no more dirty Donners. I'd still go for a dirty donner at the end of the night. It's just, the, I don't know, tell me in the comment section down below. I'm not sure about wrapping it up. You know what I mean when you go for a donner kebab at the end of the night. It's like in a butterfly bread. You know, they just cut the bread in half or whatever and butterfly it out. And then you just scoop it out. I'm not sure about folding it over like a wrap. It just seems a bit, yeah, a bit pompous, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Um, but maybe that's me from being from Mansfield. Anyway, so there you go. 8.9. I think that's pretty good, actually. I am Donna. I'll put their website in the description down below. Give them a try. And if you've been, tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And also, I want you guys to mark it out of 10 in that description down below as well. Now, if you are new to the channel, please do not forget. Hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Leads, leads, leads. A place called I Am Donna. A revolution that was started by the, by the beard of a toss cock grinder. As we all associate Donna kebabs with being completely steaming at the end of a Friday or Saturday night. However, some of the most and the best Donna kebabs that I've had have been at the you know the dirty places and the on a, on a Friday night. So and that's crap as well. It's balls that is. You got it totally wrong. Toss pot.